We leave you tonight with the tale of a little log cabin that was once home to the most famous Canadians on the planet. The Dion Quintuplets were a medical marvel and became a tourist attraction. Now there's a fight to save their house and its troubled history. CTV's Omar Sachedina explains. And it. The Dion Quintuplets grew up in an era untouched by easy celebrity and social media, which makes their story even more remarkable. Born in Northern Ontario in 1934, they became global stars, the first surviving quints in the world. During their peak years, there were several million tourists from all around the world who came to visit them in North Bay. A tourism bonanza, but it robbed the sisters of their childhoods. The Ontario government ripped them from their parents, paraded them as living dolls for profit. There's gold in them, our babies. Now fears their history, good and bad, will be erased. This, their childhood home, was turned into a museum owned by the city. But after the operator moved, it's been boarded up, its future and the land it sits on in limbo. It was deemed surplus by uh, council and it went out for sale. That's prompted local resident Jeff Fournier to start a petition to save the home and its contents. These girls went through en enough that let's, let's not forget it and let's not dishonor them by just uh, yeah. tearing it down. The city insists no decision has been made. I spoke to them uh, today and uh, they're, they're very concerned. Carlo Torini, a friend of the two surviving sisters, believes the choice is clear. Those that uh, forget history are bound to repeat it and this is a, an important piece of Canadian history. A complicated history housed in this simple farmhouse. Omar Zechadina, CTV News, Ottawa.